and welcome back to the Osborne Wood Products Builder Studio. My name is Sarah and today we're doing a continuation of our last video where we built our 1164 reeded pedestal uh, table base kit. Last week we just assembled the pedestal kit. This week we're going to be adding a table top. We're going to be adding our part number 90020 pedestal kit extender. And we're also going to be showing you guys how to add a table skirt if you're not doing four legs in the corner like we usually have on most of our table skirts. Uh, so before we can get into anything else, we need to finish staining our tabletop here. So let's jump right in. Okay, so now that our tabletop is finished, we're gonna move on to our skirt boards. And since we don't have four legs that we're putting in the corners, we're going to do the corners a little bit different. I have a little example board right here just to show you, but what we're doing is we're going to miter our corners so that when the boards meet, there's gonna be a clean edge right along the corner and you won't have like a butt joint, you won't have the end grain or anything like that showing on the other side. Overall, our tabletop size is going to be 36 inches, so we're planning for a two inch overhang on all four sides, which means our skirt boards are going to end up being roughly 32 inches across. And when you're measuring for your skirt boards, you also want to make sure that you have plenty of room inside them to allow for your pedestal extender kit or table slides if that's what you're adding as well. All right, so now that we have finished staining all of our pieces, our top and all of our skirt boards, and we've already drilled our pocket holes and mitered our corners, we're gonna go ahead and get into assembling our tabletop. So like I said, we've already pre-drilled all of our pocket holes. We just did a few on the inside of each board. And since we're not attaching table legs in the corners of each of this table, we're doing a pedestal in the center instead. We went ahead and mitered the corners of all of our skirt boards as well. We've also marked on the underside of our table where we want our skirt boards to lay and I've already pre-drilled a couple of these, so let's get into it. Okay, so we've just finished attaching our table skirt to the underside of our tabletop. And if you want more information on how to do that using pocket holes, you can check out our pocket hole dining table build. And the link for that will be in the description down below. Now, the next step is going to be adding our pedestal kit extender, which is our part number 90020. And this kit is going to come in three different pieces. You're gonna get two extending boards like this that are gonna install this way. And then you're also going to get a center plate like this. Now, the way this kit is going to assemble is going to be basically the same as if you were installing a set of equalizer slides. It's just instead of equalizer slides, we have these two replacement boards. And what this kit does is it takes any of our 25 inch tall dining table pedestal kits and it extends it up to 29 inches tall so that that way you can add a one inch thick tabletop and get perfect 30 inch dining table height. Before we worry about attaching the plate here, we need to attach these two runner boards to the underside of our tabletop first. And they're going to come with the holes already drilled. And you're going to want to make sure that the big holes are facing, well, when your tabletop's upside down, the big holes are facing up and the little tiny holes are facing down so that these are the ones that attach to your top. Now we've already measured where these are going to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and install these real quick. Now that we have the boards 
for the pedestal extender kit attached to our tabletop, we're gonna go ahead and attach the plate to the pedestal. Now the plate is going to come with holes pre-drilled in the middle here for attaching to a number of different pedestal configurations. And then it will also have holes drilled along two sides here. That'll be where you attach the plate to the boards. So we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we have these holes facing down so that that way when we flip the pedestal over, we can screw into the holes this way. So I'm going to attach this here and it will probably be a bit of a snug fit, but it should just slide right on. And then we have all of the nuts and washers that we need that already come with the pedestal kit as well. So we're just gonna slide those on and get this put together real quick. And now we're done with a brand new, beautiful pedestal table. And remember, you can get everything that you need to build this table from Osborne Wood Products. The pedestal kit base is our part number 1164. It's our rated pedestal base kit, and it comes in a few different wood types. The pedestal kit extender is our part number 90020. We also have the skirt board true stock available on our website in two different lengths, in 48 inches or 96 inches depending on how big of a table you're wanting to make. And we also have a small selection of tabletops listed on our website, plus the ability to do custom tabletops as well. And if you're interested in buying any of these parts to build a table of your own, then all of the links are going to be in the description box down below. And remember to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our future videos. And we'll see you next time in the Builder Studio.